Guys, why is it so dark in here? We're not government employees. We're, we're working today, guy. Hello? Hey. Hey Americans and rest of worlders, Trace here focusing domestically for DNews today. For those who are somehow unaware, the US government is in hibernation mode. Kind of like when you put your laptop to sleep. Only essential functions are being performed until Congress passes a continuing resolution, or CR, to fund the federal government at the current level. During this strange blackout, national parks are closed, the federal monuments like the Lincoln Memorial are closed, the Smithsonian is closed, anything that receives a large chunk of their operating costs from government money. During the shutdown, you're going to hear the term furlough a lot. Furlough is a fancy word for forced, unpaid leave from work. Even if federal employees want to work for free, that's illegal. The Office of Management and Budget received the plans for the furlough of 800,000 of the 2 million federal employees. If you closed all the Starbucks, that wouldn't even equal a quarter of the number of people furloughed. So with all these non-essential employees out of work, how will federally funded science programs be affected? It's a pretty grim looking list, guys. Firstly, everyone's favorite space program, NASA, is gonna furlough 16,000 of their 18,250 employees. This means the Curiosity rover is just chilling on Mars. Nothing happening. Hopefully they parked it in a safe place and Mars doesn't have like a dust storm or something. The International Space Station and satellites are being monitored, but all of the buildings, tourist areas, and offices are closed. Thanks, Congress. In case you're wondering, if a pandemic breaks out, the Centers for Disease Control will have a significantly reduced capacity to respond to outbreak investigations. So hopefully no pandemics or zombie viruses or government-provided laboratory testing services are needed from them this week. Speaking of medications, the National Institutes of Health, a major researcher in the areas of cancer, genetics, and things like the common cold, yeah, they are closed. And even if their researchers have to care for living cells, they cannot. We might have had a cure for cancer in the NIH lab this week, but you know what? We may never know now. Woo, Congress. So why is this happening? Outside of politics, it happened because Congress has yet to pass the continuing resolution. Our government's budget year takes effect October 1st, today. But Congress didn't pass a successful budget for the president to sign, nor did they pass a CR to extend the previously passed budget. Thus, no money, thus a shutdown. It's not that our Congress voted to shut us down, it's more that they didn't vote to keep us open. Now all these people can't make science happen and they won't get paid, so they can't go to restaurants, they can't buy major things, they can't fill up their gas tanks and so on, which is not awesome for the economy either. Hopefully they figure it out soon. How do you feel about the effect on the science community? Are you affected personally? Toss a comment down below and make sure you subscribe because you'll need something to watch during these unpaid furlough days, right? Thanks.